Welcome. If you're watching this video, you obviously have access to a computer with an internet connection. A browser is a program that allows you to view content from the internet. Examples are Internet Explorer, Firefox, Safari, or Google Chrome. To use this Job and Family Services benefit application, you must use Microsoft's Internet Explorer browser, version 6 or newer. This application does not function properly on a Macintosh computer. You must also have a valid email address to fill out this application. If you do not have a valid email address, one option is to use Gmail, Google's email service. Just go to google.com and click the word Gmail at the top. On the page that opens, you'll see Create an Account on the right side. Click that button and you'll be asked to fill in some simple information. Your name, your requested Gmail name, a password, a security question, and your date of birth. If the name you want is already taken, you'll be prompted to try another. Then click the I accept Create My Account button at the bottom of the page. That's it. You now have an email account and can communicate with anyone else who has one. If you do not have a valid email address and you don't want to create one, call 513-946-1000 and ask to fill out the benefit application over the phone or to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with a Job and Family Services associate. After viewing this video, click the Click Here to Apply area in the black window above to get started with the application. Please note, if you're filling this application out for someone else, please answer all questions as though you were that person. Please do not use the forward and back buttons at the top of the page on your browser. Use the buttons at the bottom of each page to navigate through the benefit application. Please note, some questions have an asterisk or star next to them. These questions must be answered. Remember, supplying information you know is false is against the law. The application itself starts with three options, as indicated by the three blocks. Clicking the first block, Am I Eligible, will open a new window and take you to an online form that determines whether you are potentially eligible for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, called SNAP. Before you click the first block, you may want to look up the amounts of your earnings, rent or mortgage, utility bills, child support, daycare expenses, medical bills, especially if you are 60 or older or disabled, child support payments or SSI, social security, or VA payments. Remember, this is not the actual SNAP application. This form is designed to enhance your understanding of how the state of Ohio considers eligibility for the SNAP program and to see if it's worthwhile for you to apply. You can always call 513-946-1000 for assistance. This is the main part of the online benefits application program. When clicking on this center block, you are taken to a security page that requires you to input the letters you see in the box. This prevents spam in the system. The next page offers information you need to know. Please read through these seven points before continuing. At the bottom, there is a link saying, Click here for Ohio's benefit cards. Clicking there, opens a new window that shows you the various cards the state uses in its benefits programs. You may be eligible for benefits under more than one program. Clicking to the next page takes us to the body of the application. Remember, use the blue back green forward buttons at the bottom of each page to navigate. There are eight main sections to the application, as noted by the bars on the left side of the page. While you probably won't have information for every single question asked, it's important to fill in as much information as possible. Again, the only questions that are required to be filled out are marked with an asterisk or star. You'll notice once you answer a question in a section, the text darkens and the icon turns green, letting you know where you are in the application process. You can go back to a section if needed. Some of the questions may seem obscure, like do you have any annuities, which are a form of insurance. Just skip questions that don't make sense for your situation. Once you've filled in the application information to the best of your abilities, the program will remind you of your rights and responsibilities. Once you've read that, click Next to go to the digital signature page. Because this is an online application, there is no convenient way to record a signature like we would with a paper application. Due to this situation, the application uses a digital signature to confirm your identity. 
you will need to click the I Agree box and type in your initials in the space provided. Then click the Submit button. That's it. A representative will be in touch to review the application and let you know what benefits are available to you. Again, if you have any problems or confusion, call 513-946-1000. This part of the program is designed to let you update your personal or case information. Perhaps your employment status changes, or you have a change in the number of household members. This is the area to update such information. Clicking on this block takes you to another security page where you have to fill in the letters shown. Then there is a page of important tips. The main point is that to make changes to your status, you will have to submit your case number, category, and sequence number, which are found near the bottom of the most notices you receive from your county agency. You will also need your social security number or recipient number for the form. Once you fill in and submit this form, You'll receive a letter in the mail that contains your change request key code within seven days. Go back to the Report My Changes section of the application, fill in the Change Request Key Code when prompted, and you'll then be able to update your information as needed. And again, if you have any problems or confusion, please call 513-946-1000. Thank you for applying for benefits online. This help video is provided by Hamilton County Job and Family Services.